Hello everybody. I just wanted to mention how we can all get out the vote for Ron Paul, the only real politician who will fight for the people, not the status quo. Of course, right now those living in Iowa and New Hampshire have their work cut out for them. And for those like myself who live well outside those states, I've come up with a simple way to get more votes, which of course is the bottom line in terms of getting Ron Paul elected. Just a quick editorial point before I get to the heart of this video. We all like to feel good about liberty, Ron Paul, and the vision for a free society. But liking another Ron Paul video, or making a Ron Paul cake for dessert, or having a philosophical discourse of the nature of mankind versus statism won't get Ron Paul elected. While all of those things make you feel good, none of them will compare to the actual feeling of getting Ron Paul elected. So please, do the following. Make phone calls as part of your Ron Paul phone bank. I myself have a goal of making 50 calls a week, and I myself was part of a conference call in my home state of Florida a couple of weeks ago, and there were more than 900 unpaid volunteers for this conference call on a Friday night. If each one of us just made 10 calls a week, 9,000 calls a week would be made. This would be about 90,000 calls until the New Hampshire primary in January, and that's just from Ron Paul supporters in Florida alone. As you can see, in New Hampshire, Ron Paul got about 8% of the vote in the 2008 primary compared to Romney's 32% of the vote. While Romney is popular in New Hampshire, I believe he can be beaten or at least given a close run for his money. The bottom line is that Ron Paul's voter turnout, I think, will be a direct function of the number of calls made. Candidates like Romney and Perry will out-fundraise Ron Paul. And that's because they get their additional contributions from corporate interests like Goldman Sachs and Merck Pharmaceuticals. But what they can't beat with Ron is Ron's army of grassroots volunteers. And this is our secret weapon. Please use our time effectively because time is running out. One last thing that I like to do here in Florida is this. Just about wherever I go, I carry a few of these around with me. This is an envelope that has the address of my supervisor of elections on it. Inside is a voter registration form. I give these to people that I know, either at work or around the town, that I believe I can get to vote for Ron Paul. Many people at this point, as I'm sure you are well aware, are still somewhat lackadaisical about the presidential race. And people will vote for certain politicians for the darndest reasons. Maybe they'll vote for Ron Paul because you are their family member or a trusted colleague at work, or a loyal customer. Ask if they would consider voting for Ron Paul in your Republican primary because it means a lot to you. And as effective ammunition, hand them one of these envelopes with the address of the supervisor of elections on it and a voter registration form in it. And if you're willing and able, give them a stamp as well, showing them that you're willing to make a small investment in their trust with the cost of a stamp. You might be surprised and find people very receptive. And if you can, get their email address. But don't overwhelm them with Ron Paul news every day. Just send them an email once a week with a link to a video or two. The two best videos, in my opinion, to send are Ron Paul Makes Little Girls Cry and Ron Paul, The Only One We Can Trust, the links of which are in the Show More section of this YouTube video on the YouTube page. As you can see, Ron Paul got about 62,000 votes, while McCain got about 700,000 votes in the Florida 2008 primary. If every Ron Paul primary voter of 2008 could secure about 10 to 15 voters by talking to friends, families, and even the occasional acquaintance by giving them envelopes with registration forms if they're non-Republicans, or convincing their fellow Republicans to vote for Ron Paul, Ron Paul will win Florida especially coming off the heels of a good showing in Iowa and New Hampshire. And don't worry about which county address you put on the envelope. Any eligible voter in Florida can mail their registration form to any supervisor of elections office to be registered as a Republican to vote. The form doesn't have to be mailed to the county office of that particular individual's residence. So, for example, if you live in Miami-Dade County and you mail your form to Osceola County, your form is still good and you will be registered. If you're living in a state other than Florida, you need to check the rules of your own state. But for Florida residents, it doesn't matter. Just make sure that, for Florida residents, the person you give the form to 
fills out the form and mails it himself or herself. You yourself cannot mail the form for them because you may be breaking election law since you aren't a registered third party registration organization. So in conclusion, make phone bank calls with the Ron Paul campaign and be prepared to register potential Ron Paul voters now by carrying addressed envelopes, voter registration forms, and stamps. Don't spend all of your time in like-minded Ron Paul circles because that doesn't help the cause of freedom as much as recruiting potential Ron Paul voters. And now it's time for cake and milk. Go Ron Paul. But I know